This is official SAT practice test number one, section two writing. This is going to be passage number two. So this is a second passage and it's about dark snow. Let's take a look at the questions. Number one, which most accurately and effectively represents the information in the graph? And let's go down, take a look at this graph here. This sentence here is talking about in winter, the ice sheet thickens as additional snow falls and average daily low temperatures can drop as low as, is it 20 degrees? Take a look down here. No, it is actually 12 degrees. So going up here, the right answer is going to be B. Question 13. What is going to combine the two sentences together the best? Typically the ice sheet. So you have a main clause here, a main or independent clause. You've got a period. You have another main or independent clause. Those are fine by themselves. You want to get rid of the period. The right answer is choice A. That's going to concisely combine the two together. Number 14. For example, in the summer of 2012. So what's going on is you have to read this a little bit further on to see what's going on. It talks about how it's usually late summer when it thaws. However, year of 2012, what happened was it started mid-July, which is actually very early. Okay, so that's not normal, and you want a contrast that shows that. Right now it says, for example, but that doesn't work. You want something that shows a contrast, it's going to be B. However, number 15. But Jason Box, an associate professor of geology at Ohio State, believes that, well, what happens here is you've got a comma there, and you need another comma there to set it off. The right answer is going to be C. You'll notice there's a comma here after the word box, another comma after the word state, and that sets it off so it can be effectively removed from the sentence. So it would read, but Jason believes that another factor added to the early blah, blah, blah. Number 16. The semicolon here, number 16, that acts as a period. And if you were to put a period there, you would effectively have a sentence that said the dark snow problem. That doesn't work. The right answer is going to be C. The colon here means that you're adding additional information afterwards. Now, the important thing is you have to have a main clause or independent clause before the colon. If this was not a main clause, you would not be able to put the colon there. Being is pretty much wrong all the time. Just a quick tip. Anytime you see the word being, it's going to be wrong 99.9% .9 of the time because there's just no use for the word being. Number 17. This requires a deeper explanation. What we have here is tundra fires in 2012. This is what's called a main or independent clause. And then this next part, some of it drifted over Greenland. That is also a main or independent clause. The problem here is that you've got a comma there. You can't have a comma there. It's what we call a comma splice. And that's when you shove a comma in between two main or independent clauses. You can't do that. If you change number 17 to of which, some of which drifted, what happens is it turns this from a main or independent clause into a phrase. And when you have a phrase, it is okay to have that comma there. So it's a little bit complicated. Number 18. We've got giant plumes of smoke and then fell as particles onto the ice sheet. This is the right tense. It's the past tense. So it's going to be A, no change. Number 19. Limiting its ability to reflect. So it is a pronoun and every pronoun has to refer to a noun. So what is the it's talking about? Well, looking back, a lot of people actually mistakenly believe it's scientists or soot particles, but it's not. The it is actually talking about the snow and the ice. So what's the problem here? Well, first of all, it apostrophe s means it is. So it's saying limiting it is ability. That is just incorrect. If you look at the other choices, choice B sounds good then because ITS is the possessive form of the word it. However, the problem is it is talking about snow and ice. Snow and ice is plural. It is singular. So you can't use that. B is the wrong choice. 
It is D, there. 20, which best completes the description of a self-reinforcing cycle? So again, you have to read the passage carefully and pay attention to what they're talking about. It talks about this self-reinforcing cycle here, which is what's going on. You've got the soot particles melting by darkening the snow and ice. You've got it settling over the ice and capturing the sun's heat. The sun's heat is causing ice melt and then land and water on the ice become exposed. And then since land and water is darker, it's gonna absorb even more heat, which is gonna continue the cycle of heating and melting. So the right answer is going to be D. A lot of people look at choice B and they're thinking, well, it raises the surface temperature. That might be true, but what we're really focused on is the fact that it causes additional melting. Number 21, the pattern box observed in 2012 may repeat itself again. Well, what's wrong with that? We've got again and repeat. You can't say repeat and again, it's repetitive. You want to get rid of the word again, the right answer is B, itself. 22. Sends 4 should be placed. This is the iffiest part of the entire SAT. You really have to pay attention to what's going on. Sends 4 is talking about organizing expedition. So where should it go? After sends 1, which means it's right here. After sends 2, means it's going to go right here. And after sends 5, means it's going to go right down here. Looking at the answer choices, it's actually D, after sentence five. Why is that? We've got the next step for Box and his team is to travel to Greenland to perform direct sampling. And you've got members of the public able to track his team's progress. So because we're talking about the team there and his team up here, we have to talk about where he's gonna organize an expedition. Best place is to put that sentence right in there. Thanks for watching guys and as always if you feel that this video was useful please like and subscribe and also share this video with your friends who are studying so hard for the SAT.